today I'm going to show you how to create this super simple cat eye look. So my skin was feeling a little dry, so this time I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Studio Finish Concealer as my foundation. So as a makeup artist, I have tried so many things and have found that the Studio Finish Concealer works so beautifully on the skin as foundation. It's an emollient based product, so it gives the skin such a beautiful dew. The Studio Finish is a fragrance-free, 12-hour wear formula that controls oil and is rich in antioxidants. So this product is great for anyone who has sensitive skin since it is fragrance-free. To apply it, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Sculpting and Blending Sponge. Um, in my last video, I talked about how much I love this sponge, so I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can check that out. Blending, bending, blending, bending sponge. <laughs> Alright, so to dampen my sponge, I just used water. Um, the Studio Finish Concealer is so buttery that it didn't really need any more moisture. For my highlighter, I'm also using the Studio Finish Concealer, just in a lighter shade. To apply it, I'm using the same sponge and just applying it under my eyes this time. So I'm not going to go in and apply it like on the bridge of my nose, chin, or forehead because I want to give this look like a really natural finish. Now this product is not self-setting so you will have to set the product if you don't want it to crease under the eyes, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. But what I do like about this product is that the consistency is like nice and thick so you don't have to use a lot of product to get great coverage. Alright, so to set the product, I'm using the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation um, formula, and this is their Studio Fix Powder. And this powder is super photo friendly, so it's not going to go on like super dry on the skin, which is why I like this powder. And to apply it, I'm just using a really small precision brush. I believe this is a MAC to 24. When I do apply powder, I like to use a small brush to make sure that I'm only powdering like the areas that I want to be like set and matte and not having like powder flow everywhere and make my skin look really dry. I also like to apply like little by little to make sure that I have like control over the product and I don't end up too matte because I love looking dewy. Just taking a little bit of the product and going over my T-zone so that I'm not like extra oily. And since it is a lighter shade, it will highlight like ever so slightly like the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead, but it won't be as dramatic as if I would have done it with cream. So for my brows, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Definer Waterproof Pencil. So this is a great pencil to use like during the summertime, really all year long. And I'm going back and just removing any of the harsh lines and wiping any excess product off my eyelids. To give the liner a nice base, I'm going back in with the Studio Fix powder and just doing like a light wash over my eyelid. So I'm taking it from my lid all the way up to my brow bone. To line my eyes, I am using the MAC Brush Strike Liner in Brush Black, and I like to start in my inner corner and work my way out. 
I feel like with liner, it's like such a personal like way of doing it. Everyone has like their own technique on how to create the perfect cat eye. Um, I personally like to wear my cat eye a little like thicker and shorter. I really love like the 70s sultry like cat eye like vibe that like kitty cat like look. So my cat eyes are always a little bit on the shorter and like thicker side. And I find that this pen is like so easy to use. It's nice and thin which works great when you have like small eyes like I do. You're really able to like create thin lines and then like thicken them up as you go along without being too scared that you're gonna like set the brush down and it's gonna be like whoa crazy thick but if that does happen like honestly it could be a vibe so like it works so now I'm just filling in like the tail end of the cat eye and I feel like cat eyes can be a little stressful sometimes. It's like, you gotta hold your breath, make sure you don't blink, make sure you don't move. But the more you practice, the easier they become. Okay, now that that situation is done, I just went in and added Lash Stick by Glossier to give the eyes and the lashes like such a beautiful like lift. Look how happy I look. I feel like in this video my face looked kind of hangry, guys, I was a little hungry, but blush makes everything so much better. So I'm going in with the color Dusk, and this is the Cloud Paint by Glossier, and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks with my finger, of course because Glossier makes their products to be like nice and easy for everyone to use. You don't need a lot of brushes or tools. Your fingers work almost, I want to say with like every product minus like boy brow and the lash stick, but everything else I feel like you can use your fingers to apply. So in this instance, like more is always better. <laughs> I always believe that less is more, but not when it comes to blush. Like blush is just such a beautiful, product to like have on your face so I'm just like lightly tapping it and I'm bringing it quite high to give this like a dual like blush contoury type of look the color is like perfect for that because it's like neutral enough but it's warm enough to like wear as blush and then I'm using almost all my fingers to like really blend it out Alright, now I'm going to share a top secret beauty tip. So I'm going in with Balm.com by Glossier and this is their universal shade. So I'm using it as a highlighter base. So I apply it on the high points of my face, so like under my brow bone, um, on my cheekbone, and then just kind of like blend it in. And this product naturally gives your skin such a beautiful like glow, so you can wear it alone. But, wait for it. On top of that, I applied Fenty's Hustle Baby, and it just like marries the highlighter, the skin, like the blush, everything so beautifully. And it makes like the highlighter kind of like melt into the skin, so you have like this really natural, like glowing within type of vibe. So, it's one of my favorite tricks to do is apply the balm.com and then highlighter on top. And the Hustle Baby is such a beautiful, like, peachy champagne color. And you can use a brush to apply it, but I always find that um, using your fingers just kind of like warms both of the products up and like marries them really nicely. I'm applying it on my cupid's bow. I feel like that gives this look such a like cute touch. Bridge my nose. And then a little bit on my inner corners to make sure that my eyes are like nice and bright.
to finish the look off, I'm using the same color in Dusk and applying it on my lips. It's the most perfect nude ever, and I love the velvety finish. It's not like sticky or like too matte like a liquid lipstick. It's like the perfect texture for the lips. And again, just using my finger to apply it. All these looks are meant to be like super easy and not use a lot of tools. And because you can't have enough glow, applying a little bit more of the Hustler Baby on my cupid's bow. And on the bridge of my nose. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and don't forget to hit the like.